Yo my people, welcome to my brand new show. I'm gonna call this Updates with Bounce in Dubai. We're gonna talk about music, lifestyle, culture, finances. I just felt like it's important that I create this raw content where it's minimal edits and I'm just speaking raw. Do you know what I mean? I'm speaking about updates and I think this week has been an interesting week in um, the music culture, in the culture. I woke up to my group chats going crazy. I woke up to links in my group chat, um, things on the Shade Borough, things on all the other blog pages um, regarding Dig That, um, saying that he'd been charged with attempted murder. And I can't lie, look, I know a lot of people, I saw my name in the comments and a lot of my friends, we was talking about the same subject. And it just got me pissed off, bro, because I felt like I didn't get to complete my job. I didn't get to complete my job into being that support system to someone that needs it. Do you know what I mean? That needs it. And my thing is like, you see if you make it in life, or when I say you make it in life, you see when you get a second chance, you, got a, you see the sort of friend circle that you have to have around. They have to be on the same vibration, the same level as yourself. Look, I understand when you're young, you jump into music, where we came in the era, yeah? Cause right now the era is not there yet, but we came in the era where people are getting 200,000 pounds for one single, do you get it? We came into that era where you're getting 50K for a single. But we came into an era where they said that Drill will never chart and Drill did. And Dig That was the first independent artist to chart a top 20 um, in the UK charts. Like he was the first independent. So the come up and everything was amazing. It was great. It changed my life. It changed Dig That's life. And I have to talk about this. I have to talk about this. I have to talk about when I saw it, how I felt. And I told you I felt pissed off because I felt like I didn't complete what I needed to do because my whole thing was always being that support system into making sure that you make the right decisions. Now, look, I think Dig That's innocent, but the fact is he's been charged. So not everyone that gets charged is guilty. I think he's innocent, but he's been charged. So I don't know what the circumstances is, wrong place at the wrong time, wrong whatever, but he's been charged. So it's just like, sometimes you gotta watch the company you keep. And sometimes being around the little guys from the roads, from the blocks, who's got a chip on their shoulder that wants to, do you know what I mean, bro? That don't have no ambition. That's not for you, bro. It's not for you. You've made it, bro. You get me? You can sit down with the same man and with no ambition and be like, do you know what? Let me put 100K into this or 50K into that or whatnot. Go easy on the jewelry, my brother. All it does is attract evil eye or people that want to rob your stuff. So it's just like looking at it and obviously I've looked at his career innit? and I still think he's the best in drill when it comes to how he raps, man. He's very talented sick always happy when he drops and he releases music so when i look at our breakdown of communication or down the line or or whatever happened with mine and his friendship managership whatever obviously i forgive man i forgave man years ago you get it? i forgave man years ago obviously you gotta understand someone we both come from a sort of place where i don't know man i don't know nothing about i didn't know nothing about contracts all i was doing is managing my friends little brother, you get me? And we created something special. And we opened up the doors for a lot of up and coming managers, managers from the roads, up and coming artists. Do you know what I mean? And, and, and a lot of people follow the blueprint. Argue yourself, that's just what happened. Do you know what I mean? But watching this and seeing this come together, like someone that was at the top of the drill scene, the top, yeah, and now he's like you're releasing songs and it's like, they're sick, bro, but it's not doing anything. It's not, do you know what I mean? So it's just like, um, it's just a crowd of friends. Like, just flipping, always think like, be careful, watch the company who you are around. And one thing that I'll never forget, yeah, could even, even talking up on the subjects is like, um, talking up on, even local man, talking up on local man subject, because it's like the world knows, obviously the world waits for bouncers downfall. You get me? And I know a lot of people follow me just for me to have a downfall. I get it, you get me? But my thing is, even with local man, because I want to talk about two, Two major acts that man changed their life, you get me? And two people that had people in their ears, you get me? In their ears. And two people that fumbled the bag. I believe they fumbled the bag. Look what man's in jail right now. He's in jail for three years. A couple years ago, he said what he said on the Plus 4-4 four four, um, podcast. The Plus 4-4 four four podcast cut it out how they wanted to cut it. They released it, tried to destroy man. 
A year later, I left it in God's hands. He came back. We discussed what we needed to discuss on a podcast. I get to, I got to clear my name. A lot of people were saying, bro, why did you take my man back after he done all that to you? And I said, bro, we're meant to be leading by example, yeah? We're meant to be trying to look at the younger generation and making sure that we're being a good role model. Now look, us as black people, we're used to just flipping, harboring feelings. We're used to it. We're used to, this person's done bad to me. I'm gonna harbor feelings. I'm gonna hate that person. No, bro. Like some things, and even with Liquor Man, you can see his mind got poisoned. He said what he said. It affected man, tried to destroy man. Luckily, for the TikTok world, I always mention the TikTok world because they're the people that gave man the chance. You get me? And and it changed my life. We aired what we needed to air out. I think when he came back, he was on 506k followers. I can't remember. It. <laughs> so now he's on 800 and something k followers. He's 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 un he's under another management. You know what I mean? But I felt like I need to clear my name, and then I needed to stay away from him. That was my thing: is clear my name, put him in a good position, and then take a step back. That's what I've done. But looking at it, I'm, I'm angry on both sides, yeah? Because it's like, I look at Dig That, he's in prison. I look at Little Man, he's in prison. And these are two people, yeah, that obviously they're young, do you know what I mean? And, and, and they need support. But these are two people that flip and try to destroy, man. I remember Side Man, yeah? And I'm not talking about the group, I'm talking about the person. I remember this like yesterday on Clubhouse, yeah? He was like, bouncer, like, don't you think that like people are wondering like obviously what dig that left you so like now little man's left you it must be you and it had me thinking I started thinking like bro like bro all I've done is try to help people bro like if you look at what I do is I try to help people you might not like me but all I do is try to help people so it's like I'm not painting this at me but I'm just looking at it it's like look how God works God works in mad ways because it's like the evil people that was poisoning your mind I guarantee you none of them people are there right now they're not there do you know what I'm trying to say and it made me look at life it made me think ah oh, I need to stay away from people. These people try to come in man's life, the arts man to oh, give man a chance and then all of a sudden we build them up and then this is what happens with me. I know this is what happens with me. So now it's like, I just stay away, you get me? I don't even give people a chance. This is what's gonna happen. Man's gonna build you up and then you're gonna flip in, try to act like man done you dirty or you're just gonna, you get it? I know the value that man bring and I know anyone that comes and works with me, I, I change people's lives. I make people into millionaires, I make people People into multi-million pound brands. You can argue with yourself. That's what I do. So I thought, you know what? Every other week or every week, let me do little recaps about subjects, what's going on in the culture. And let me share my opinion. You get me? Let me share my opinion because I see everyone sharing their opinion. I want to share my opinion. And when I share my opinion, it don't come from no hating element. I don't, I don't come from to try to put anyone down. I just want to share my opinion. Moving on. Big shout out to Rimsey. I see that he dropped his tape. And this is what you call a real hustler. Talking his tape, body of work's amazing. Talking his interview, hour and a half interview is great. Uh, this is the mindset. Someone goes to prison, comes out, trying to go for it. And we know in the UK, no one likes to support each other. Everyone wants to see you do good or no one don't want to see you do better than them. So they will see you from a distance. They'll keep on watching you till you get to a certain height. And then they'll try to reach out just so they tap in. So maybe if you get to another height now, then they can pattern with you, you get me? So yeah, man, I took in his project. I just wanted to big him up. Real entrepreneur, real talented person. Big shout out to K-Trap as well. It's about time, man, these Americans start flipping proper co-signing, man, because it's the UK artist that, you get me? You don't need to get the co-sign from. So it was good, man, to see me Mills put K-Trap you get me? k trap has been doing music for many years. One of the first, you get me, in this drill scene. So it's amazing to see now him keeping at it, him leaving his record label, you get me? And him being independent and him doing much better independent than with his record label. So I know it's a breath of fresh air for him. Keep going, my brother. Keep grinding. But yeah, man, that's just a little update with Bounce. Make sure you like, you comment, you subscribe. And let me know in the comments what I should talk about next week. Peace.